Life Adventure News. The mayor is going to fire you if you don't follow his mandate. Words of anger followed by a crowd of boos as firefighters and police in Newark protest Mayor Ros Baraka's mandate requiring city workers to be vaccinated. We as public workers have always helped, even through this entire COVID vaccine problem, or when this whole entire epidemic started. We came to work every day, we did our job. Now the mayor is going over and above the governor's executive order, which requires either you get vaccinated or you get a medical or religious exemption, or if you don't want to take the vaccine, you'll be subject to testing once or twice a week. According to the mandate, all city employees must be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, and any city employee that refuses shall be disciplined up to and including termination. If we allow that to happen, what happens tomorrow? What do they look to take away tomorrow? This is all done by the stroke of a pen inside City Hall, and they just think it's good to go, and that it shouldn't be that way. That's why firefighters, police, and their supporters flooded the streets and steps outside City Hall, demanding the mayor put an end to the mandate. They have a right to protect themselves, and everyone has the right to decide what pharmaceutical product may or may not be injected into their body. Mayor Baraka addressing the pushback in a recent op-ed arguing it would be irresponsible not to mandate vaccines, writing, quote, of all people, the union leaders whose rank and file members are hired and sworn to protect the public should know this better than anybody. They lost nine members to the disease. We are not anti-vaxxers. I'm vaccinated. I encourage everyone to get vaccinated. But I know that people have religious, medical, and personal choice. Police and firefighters say they understand the need to keep everyone safe, but they believe the mayor's gone too far, and they just want the chance to be able to come to the table and have their voices heard. But if we got 300 cops that are not vaccinated, I hope the mayor is making contingency plans with the state police because they're going to have to come in here to handle the jobs, the, the regular calls for service that go on every single day in the city um, because the city won't be able to function if that's what we're going to do. We do want the ability to sit down and negotiate the impact of the policy that's been implemented, and that's simply all we're asking for. This is not the first time the issue is coming to head in the state. Police officers in Wayne challenged the vaccination mandate there, but a state arbiter eventually sided with the town, requiring all officers to be vaccinated as long as both sides were able to negotiate the terms. I don't think they're going to prevail on the argument that they get to bargain about whether or not the employer has a right to implement a vaccine mandate. I think they lose that one. And they are and those that have tried are losing that case. Both public and private employers have both the legal right, but one could argue the moral responsibility. Employers have a duty not to put the, the beneficiary of their work at risk either. The mandate requires city workers to be vaccinated by September 15th. Police and firefighters say they'll continue to challenge it until negotiations are reached. For NJ Spotlight News, 